I think it's a, it's in the early days of that trade, the uh, outperformance of growth versus value has been going on for a long time, depending on how you look at it. So it's been going on for a decade now. Uh, it, it had moved to extreme levels and it will take a long time to unwind. But of course, it's not going to go in a straight line. We are going to see setbacks in expectations regarding growth, uh, global growth. Um, if bond yields rise too quickly, that cause a bit of a setback in the value trade as well. But I think the broader picture investors should allow for is one where um, recovery stocks, primarily value stocks, the underperformers over the last few years, and particularly last year, outperform um, pandemic stocks, stocks that benefit from the pandemic, stocks that have become more overvalued, such as the growth stocks, um, over the course of the next year or so. Okay, very quickly, before we wrap up, uh, Shane, your top investment idea, the top one for 2021. Uh, that's, I don't know what my top one is, but I, I, I would favour non-US shares. I, I think the US share market has done its dash. It's outperformed for a long time now. I think it's going to uh, take a bit of a backseat. Um, I, I'd favour probably a mix of non-US shares, um, but particularly focused on the emerging world, um, Asia. And within that, I would focus on um, stocks that are more cyclical value nature, value stocks, financials, industrials in particular.